What was it like having to sit out uh, Big Ten play in the start of that? Um, it was tough. I mean, I hadn't sat out a game because of injury <coughs> since I think I was in seventh or eighth grade. So <coughs> obviously it was tough. Um, this is my last Big Ten go round, obviously. So it was tough not being able to go back to Michigan State or see Rutgers because I'd never been there before. But um, I mean, I'm back now, <laughs> so that's good. But uh, yeah, it was tough. Is the conditioning there, or does, is that going to take a while? Because it, you know, it's four games you missed, but it was almost 30 days on the calendar. Yeah, it was a while on the calendar, just because we had um, break. Uh, but I think the conditioning is fine now. Um, I worked on it when I could, once I got back. But um, I think the conditioning is fine. It's just kind of getting back into the flow of the game that's been kind of difficult. Let's talk about the flow of the game, and at least these last couple of games. I know your team has made some comebacks in the fourth quarter against Iowa and Illinois only to fall short. What's been the difference in these past couple of games? I think the difference is getting ourselves in a hole. Both games we dug ourselves in a hole, and our fourth quarters are usually pretty good. Um, but trying to fight out of that is, is tough. And I think those are games we could have won, and we should have won, but we didn't perform in every quarter like we should have. And the difference, I guess, with Maryland now is we can't – it's going to be very difficult if we do dig ourselves a hole to come back out of it. Our halftime interview with Wisconsin's Tessa Sitchi. I have to ask you about your brother's game the, in the bowl game. Brother Jack plays for the football team. Uh, had to sit out the first half, came back, and had uh, a series in which he had three straight sacks. As a sister, and you're watching that, what what's going through your head? How are you reacting when you saw those plays? Because I'm just sitting on my couch. I'm going crazy. Yeah, um, I was so excited for him, obviously. Um, the game was later, so I had to wait until almost what felt like 10 p.m. before he even got on the field. Um, but those three plays in a row, I mean, when he got out there, it was so exciting. He was like a, kind of like a caged animal. But, I mean, I was dizzy because the one happened, I was so excited. And then another one happened, and I was like, what? And then the third one happened, I was like, oh, my gosh, this is crazy, you know. But um, so excited for him and for our family and for their team to end the season the way they did. What was that like for you? Because you guys, are, you and your brother, have been featured on uh, in Varsity Magazine recently. What was that like? Because I know there was a photo shoot involved with that. And what was that process like for you? It was very fun. I mean, anything I get to do with my siblings or my family is always very fun. Um, yeah, so today the Varsity Magazine came out with Jack and I. I have not read the article yet. I haven't really even seen it. But um, the photo shoot was fun. Um, they had us do kind of brother-sister things, like um, I put him in a headlock. We arm wrestled, that kind of thing. Just kind of, kind of indicative of our relationship and how much fun we do have together. So that was a blast. Thanks for the time. Thank you so much. Cool.